I think I've worked it out. I think I've worked it out. It's been a couple of days now since my last episode, and I've been trying to work out exactly what I'm going to do to move on and build this base. In the last episode, I left it off right here where I had finished the farm and planted the crops. But now I've better built this structure, and my thoughts are... Let me think about it, ready? Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yes. Oh. <sighs> Hello everyone, my name's Matty. This is Echo Craft Season 2, welcome back. And yes, we finally got our starter house. I'm not 100% sold that I'm going to keep this all in the wood. I'm thinking about maybe going to go see if I can get some terracotta and see if I can add a bit of colour to it. But I'm kind of thinking right now, I wouldn't mind getting some decorations done and building a path straight down through here, down to the water, maybe a bit of a jetty. Let's get some of these decorations done, I reckon, for now. And here we are. We've got it done. We've done some more work in the house, which I'll show you in just a second, but we have this path leading down through here onto this dock or wharf or boat ramp, whatever you want to call it, I don't mind. Everyone's got a different name for it in the world. So, here it is. And, oh, ow, that hurt. I think I even might look at rebuilding this boat exactly where it is, just extend it down, get the water out, fix the holes, and make it something that's going to be absolutely awesome that's docked in here. And that may mean that I have to broaden this area out here just a little bit, but I think it will look all right. And if we head back up here, like I said before, we've done some work on the houses. Now, from the previous clip when we first started this video, this was a couple of blocks uh, not as wide and I've actually extended it as well. So this has allowed me now to put in a lot more chests, give it a bit more homely space. And if we head over to the other side, hello guys, and we'll head in here. This is the temporary bedroom at the moment. So this area still needs to be decorated, but starting very soon is going to be the game of evolution. So I have still got my armor on and I think we're only about half an hour, an hour away from the game starting. So I'm going to have to strip down my armor. I'll still be allowed to wear my elytra because that's not a form of uh, armor protection. But here we go. Here is my armor ready to go. I'm going to take it over to the villagers soon and get it all enchanted. Um, and I've got a totem of undying and the plan is we will be wearing a golem head Now I've teamed up with a couple of other echo crafters and hopefully if we can take this out We will share the loot prize between us, which has got some awesome awesome stuff and Something else I want to show you It will be a bit of a flight over there is I have been working in the shopping district and I have been built well let me just show you you ready here it is i've built an outback aussie pub for the server you are welcome now there's a little bit of work still to go at the moment hey i need a name for this guy what could his name be um like i said more decoration yet to come but here we go we're going to have the stats poker game back in here again, really enjoying it. This time, I'm going to get all the bits and paper in here, and we will get this game underway. We also have a pool or snooker table, depends on from where you are, and we have some signs up here. Now, I'm going to put some more Australian iconic records and information around this pub. It's a bit of a fun thing to do, but the first one here today is going to be the Aussie Prime Minister drinks a yard glass of beer in 11 seconds, 1954. The Prime Minister's name is Bob Hawke, an absolute icon to Australia, a legend of all great work. And we will go through the other ones at another time. All right, so I've given this place a bit of a decoration, added a little bit more dirt, a little bit of rock, stones. I've built this little well here, it kind of looks nice. And pretty much all the same around the back. But I'm not very happy. 
while I was making this and decorating it, I came across this. My llama's gone. Someone has killed my llama. And inside here is evidence of his lead and his skin. So I am not happy with what's going on here. But I'm sure as heck going to get to the end of this and find out who killed my llama. Ramsey, I'm looking at you at the moment because you seem to know something that's going on, but you won't quite give up who it was. So, leave some comments below. What should we do? How should we find this person? And if we do find this person, what should we do about it? But for now, that's all I've got time for. I'm going to keep doing some work around here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider doing so before getting out of here. Really appreciate you watching this episode. Thank you very much. And for now, see you later. Hey, got something to drink? <laughs>